the chief of VOA Thai in Washington DC, Mr. Ratapon Onsenit, in the line with us, on the line with us to discuss Biden's inauguration and transition to the White House. I, I, I read in the news there will limit number of people that will be on the street to uh, welcome the mother care. There will limit number of people at the National Mall. But how is the mood overall? The mood here is very much on high alert. When you go around DC area right now, uh, you see a lot of roadblocks and a lot of uh, military footprints within the DC area. And I live in DC, just about 15 blocks from the military checkpoint, the security checkpoint. And you see high fences um, have been put up and we, you see National Guard troops walking around the DC area. And, and the whole area that, that, that is under lock, lockdown um, is it's very big. It's two square, my, my guess would be two square kilometers. Um, for your time, uh, frame of reference, that would be about uh, 20 times Sanam Luang right. in Bangkok. I feel like usually when you talk about inauguration so far, people will be in a more festive mood maybe in Washington, D.C., but this time we see troop or security personnel walking around with guns. It's, uh, is it intimidating for some people? The, the military personnel in, in the area of Capitol Hill um, near where the people live there. They don't project the image of uh, threatening, but if you get closer uh, to the inauguration events, um, the venue, you start to see um, more of the guards carrying um, arms. Um, right. but, but in general, uh, people who live in residential area could carry on their life are there any indications that there would be potential violence, just like what happened a few weeks ago at the Capitol? So the, there was a, the, there's a report about a few, a few days ago when um, the, there's some, some concern that there might be some, some of the uh, National Guard's um, personnel planning to be uh, planning some violence and then the, the defense ministry, um, the Pentagon has, has checked all the backgrounds of people. And in, it turns out that um, they said that there's, some indi there's no indication from intelligence that suggests there'll be, there'll be violence. Um, however, there's, about, there's a small number of National Guard's personnel that got removed from, from uh, the force that is keeping security today because after the background check. But so far, they, we don't have much explanation while um, that small number of military personnel got removed from that duty for today. So do you think that the media has been, what's it called, polarizing the, the news maybe? Because it's if you compare to previous presidents, 100 something or 200 total isn't that much at all. I think the media, the media are paying attention to who get pardoned, and and that, and those people were uh, close aides to uh, President Trump, for example, a uh, Paul Manafort, former chairman of his um, campaign, uh, and also Michael Flynn and Steve Bannon, mm -hmm. who is a, a very controversial um, advisor to the president. So, so the media is paying attention to these individuals because they they have made big headlines before right so for the future of u.s politics what is going to happen from now on so today is a final closure for trump presidency and it's the beginning of of biden presidency and and biden would set the tone of um unity you can actually see visually in Washington, D.C., there's a, a flag, about 200,000 flags are planted in the National Mall area. And that signify flags from each state and, and the U.S. flags. And, and that, that project the image of a unity, inclusiveness and inclusiveness at the same time um, President-elect Biden also planned to give a speech under the theme of unity. So 
it's it's a beginning of a new era and and he want he wanted to be about um national reconciliation right however he also have to work on the politicking to put forward his idea and his agendas um at front you know front and center would be the economic stimulus for people who are affected by covid 19 and he also have a uh, top priorities about immigration policy and climate change for example Joe Biden's recent speech on the COVID-19 deaths last night, how has it re-emphasized his, his main point of, about the unity of the American people? Biden's speech on um, unity could also, um, you know, galvanize the nation mood um, to be, you know, people would work toward um, patching together or, you know, patch over their differences and, um, the the work that he has to be doing hard about um, forming harmony would be through the the Congress, you know, because the one point nine trillion dollars um, package is huge, and you start to see resistance. For example, Marco Rubio um, has voiced some concern that you know Joe Biden may not get it done as quickly as he expected. Thank you very much for uh, agreeing to coming on the show with us. Thank you. And that wraps up tonight's edition of Thai PBS World Tonight. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Sladika.